Hi, I'm Celine, technical writer with Smart Learning Suite Online. And today I'm going to show you some new features we've added to the handout activity. So I've got this lesson on fractions, and we'll go ahead and move forward a few pages to where I've converted one of the pages to a handout activity so that my students can interact with it. The first thing you'll notice here is a new button labeled Student Progress. So if you click on that button, you'll actually open up a new teacher dashboard, which allows you to see all of the students who've connected to the activity and start work, started working on it. Um, and if you as a teacher are still waiting for students to, con to connect, you have the option using this teacher handout button to actually open up your own copy of the activity so that you can demonstrate for students how to complete it. So I might start showing them that I want them to divide up the choc chocolate equally between these children. Then if you'd like to return to the dashboard, you can just use this button in the top left to go back and actually we'll click on a student and have a look at the work they're doing. So we'll have a look at Mike's to see that what he's started doing. So you can see he's already started dividing up the chocolate. Looks like he's getting it right, doing it equally. That's great. Um, you'll notice another new feature here, which will look familiar to you if you've used the workspace activity, is that we've expanded the toolbar. So in addition to the selector tool and the pen tool, which have always been here, students can also now, if they'd like to, add type text, or they can actually add a web link or search online and find an image to add the activity, which would be great if you're doing a bit more of an in-depth project where you want them to contribute their own work to the page. Um, looks like Mike's completed this successfully, so I'll also show you that as the teacher, I have access to the tools in here while the student's working in here as well. So I can actually jump in and tell Mike that he's done a great job by drawing a check mark. Um, if I want to start looking at other students' work, I can also use these arrows in the corner to toggle. So I'll toggle back and look at the previous student's assignment. So now we're looking at Liz's work. And if you want to go back to the dashboard and see all of the students, you can do that. Another great feature we've added on the student side is a done button, which allows the students to indicate that they've completed their work. So Mike actually finished filling out all his work there, and you'll notice he's marked his assignment as done because we've got this check mark up in the corner. So if I hadn't looked at it already, I could jump in and have a look at the work that he's done and see that he's completed the assignment. Um, Another improvement we've made, which is similar to Workspaces, is that now all the work that students do in the handout is automatically saved. So even if you leave the lesson and come back, the student work will be here. And that means also that if you'd like to share this lesson with your students using a link, that they could actually open this up outside of class and continue work on a handout, which might make sense if you were doing more of an in-depth assignment. Um, so that's one of our latest features in Smart Learning Suite Online. If you'd like to see more updates like this, then be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support YouTube channel and keep an eye on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist. Thanks for watching.